Yeah. How how has the process gone about acclimating Kevin to I assume the rotation and you know turns and all those things? And how much did he already had to do? Yeah, the guy know. He's a very intelligent basketball player and has uh, experiences um, and an IQ that I, I think he can fit in, you know, in any kind of system. He'll make it work. He'll figure it out. Uh, same thing with uh, Cody. You know, they've, they've been coached well and uh, they just have a great feel, you know, for the game and know how to like impact, you know, and and use their experiences, you know, find similarities and, and be who they are. Um, and that's a big time credit, you know, to their minds, you know, for, for the game. It was a unique day because one, we get to you know, have a hundred games practice, uh, but also, you know, we had a real quick meeting before we started practicing. We had all the seats filled for the first time really since probably training camp. Uh, and everybody was basically able to do you know, something you know, to be in practice. Is there like a gotcha moment when you get a good player like Kevin Love who has you know, been on the other side of the floor and come off the bench and score 20, 25 points and just killed you guys in certain games in the past? Is there like a moment where you're like, yeah, we, we, got, we, got, the ultimate, we got the ultimate enemy. Now he's on our side. I feel like he's had like a half a dozen monster games against us. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know, he's had huge first quarters uh, against us uh, in several of the games, and those always stick in, uh, in your mind. I, I've had, you know, games uh, against Cleveland where we've had to call two timeouts, three timeouts in the first quarter, you know, because he's, he's that ignitable. Uh, but it's unique, you know, because you have a high IQ player who has a great feel. He knows how to uh, either be off the action um, and space the floor or in the action. Either way, uh, it, it creates a dynamic and stress on, on, on an opposing defense. And he was able to do that to us for many years. People always joke about the outlet pass. Ability, yeah. Back this, he is a very good passer. He is a very good outlet passer. He's a very good inbounder of the ball. How, yeah. much, how much does that help I think having high IQ players uh, that know how to pass, know how to get easy baskets uh, for other players. I think in today's day and age, it's, those are hard guys to, to find. You know, guys that really see the floor, see defenders, see angles and opportunities uh, to create advantages. And he can do that, uh, you know, obviously with the outlet passes, that's a really unique skill set that probably only less than five players in the league have that skill set, uh, but his ability to play at the elbow or the top of the key and create passing angles from those areas uh, also is really unique and uh, you know, we hope to take advantage of that uh, as much as possible. It's one of the first things he said to me that you know, I think he can help our team you know, with his passing and his vision, uh, helping get guys uh, open and easy shots. Where do we stay with Kyle Lowry? Uh, he's making progress. I do not have a, a specific timeline, uh, but he had a good good week, and we'll keep on progressing. What's the good week entail? What do you think? He's doing. Uh, I'm not going to get into the total specifics uh, of everything, but he's working and making sure that he's he's healthy. That that's the most important thing as as we move forward. He's been able to grind through. You know, uh, a lot of different pain and discomfort uh, because he's tough <laughs> and he's a competitor. And then when all of a sudden you have games, he's going to put himself out there, you know, regardless if he's feeling 100% or not. We want to get him feeling right, uh, you know, and, and get him moving the way he's, he's capable of moving. Oh, what does it, what does making a couple moves like this and getting a couple veteran guys like that, that can help? What does that do? Does it invigorate your team? Does it, it's a long season. It's yeah. Good. I, I think, you know, each year it's a little bit different. Um, so if you do add players, it just depends on your dynamic. Both these guys uh, give us uh, qualities and, and, and positions of need. So I think the fit the just naturally uh, works. Um, obviously, we'll have to work through some things uh, in real games. Um, but, uh, yeah, I felt, I felt a boost today in the gym. Guys have great respect uh, for both of them and uh, battling against them over the years and, and what they could add to our group right now. You know, now we have some some real depth uh, all over the place. So, Cody, can you can you function basically the same, relatively speaking, as Bam? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, he played a, a, a lot of similar actions in Charlotte. You know, at the top of the floor, running delay actions or the elbow. I, I think he's really good with dribble handoffs. And, uh, he's an underrated passer. He's not underrated, I don't think, anywhere in the league as a screener. Uh, as a guy that has a great feel uh, for screening, slipping, getting out of things fast, sometimes just holding the screen to get guys open. Uh, and he's he's big and he's tough. So we've, we've felt his screens in, in previous years. Uh, but the package, yeah, it will be very similar, you know, to what we run, you know, when, when Dan's in the game. Going into sort of the whole buyout market, did you, were you guys hoping to add players at these positions, or did you envision? You, there's different levels of it. You know, first you, you go through the trade deadline, yeah. uh, and you see if there's anything that makes sense, uh, and there really wasn't, you know. Um, and then you're just hopeful. You're not really sure who's going to get bought out. You hear rumors. Uh, this one... You know, it was a little bit of a, of a surprise. Um, and then when uh, Kevin became available, uh, or at least there was some possible discussions uh, about it, uh, uh, everybody was all, on, all in on it. Uh, it was a no-brainer. Um, you know, the fit just makes a lot of sense, you know, for us, uh, for all the reasons that have been discussed. And, and Cody was just a matter of uh, making sure he's healthy and, and ready. He was in shape. Um, different than live game action but he's definitely in shape you can tell he's been working um and he's been a starter for uh, a lot of years and i think this is a a, a really a a great opportunity for him just to kind of reintegrate uh you know into the league do it uh, at a at a rate that's that makes sense um and he can stay healthy Um, he's a hard playing dude he really competes you know on both ends of the court so Mayor cleared a few weeks ago. How close is he getting? Uh, he's getting close. He did all the non-contact uh, today. Um, you saw right now he's doing uh, some two-on-two. Uh, we'll get him ready uh, the next week or, or so, and then we'll, we'll take that next step, You know, which will be more live, competitive, five-on-five. We'll probably have to do that uh, in Sioux Falls. So Jerry's been really effective. He was picking up sets, and obviously that's kind of dangerous. How do you think that will affect things in I think it makes uh, a, a lot of sense for a lot of different guys um, because Kevin, like I said, knows how to, to be in the action and help your best players, uh, either creating stress on his pick and flares um, or just the gravity uh, in a two-man action. His passing uh, is unique, um, his vision his feel, uh, but he's equally as effective off the ball. And, you know, he's also become a catch-and-shoot guy. So you can run catch-and-shoot actions for him, have him come off screens. Uh, I think the gravity that he creates if he's just standing on the weak side is very similar, you know, to what Duncan Robinson uh, provides for us. You're you're not going to be too many feet off of Kevin Love. His his release is is too quick, um, and he has a great feel for getting into open spaces and and uh, you know the ball seems to find them you know the, the great shooters uh, it just seems to find find those guys where you don't have to like over coach it over drill it 